Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights, back at you again with another video. Before you watch this one all the way through, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. Feel free to donate. With that said, man, there's a lot going on right now in the world because I'm gonna start with the mass shooter situation in Texas and the law enforcement there in Texas is being ridiculed. Not to mention the whole guns, take going after your guns debacle every four years, you know, prior to elections. That's going on again. However, everything is the same thing, but a different energy. That's, it's intensifying now. So, situations that's going on right now, I'm going to start with the whole police thing and the active shooter. And I know everybody have their take on it. I know people probably wonder why I ain't really said nothing about it. But really, everything that I said about certain situations already done been said. But I can refresh your memory on some of it. And one of the things that I want to refresh your memories on that you already know that I'm a student of history and you have the NRA protesting the gun rights or NRA members protesting right now. And the whole gun control situation is coming back up to the forefront and they protesting gun control. And you already know in the sisters who co-signed that gun control, right? I don't even got to go into all of that. So I'm just giving you a brief history of what's going on. So my thing is people gonna have to admit that they messed up in order for them not to be hypocrites or whatnot because I'm going to go ahead and tell you it's going to give room governments to do what they do for the simple fact that how can an organization like this protest um, gun control or background checks and I meant to say background checks by the way how can they pro protest that when they co-signed it in the 60s, when it pertains to another group? Now, I'm not trying to go back and keep saying that over and over, but I'm just giving you a reference point of my past videos. That was pretty much my um, argument in the first place. And I say that not because I feel some type of way about it, it's because you pretty much created a barricade for yourself to go down when the time that you really need it because you could have admit that, okay, we messed up. We shouldn't have co-signed gun control back in the 60s but we thought it, it pertains to one particular group of people and not us. But damn, we were fooled. See, if you would have came out and said that, then you probably would have had a leg to stand on today as for your protest. But knowing how Democrats operate, sooner or later, they're going to use that against you. Mark my word. Mark my word. And, I, and, I, and if it's any NRA members... On my page, I always go by history. This ain't emotion or nothing. But this is to give you the future <laughs> right before your eyes of what I'm telling you. They're going to use that against you. They're going to use it against you. Watch. Watch. So I'm going to let y'all ponder on that. Now I'm going to talk about the school shooting, the act, you know, the police and stuff like that. Now, they, same thing with the police. You know, P 
people always use police as their personal bodyguard. Now they're turning on the police because they was told to stand down. Now, we all know that that wasn't true. Let's just admit that the cops wasn't ready for a situation like that. Because, you know, you, you have a lot of people get bigged up in this country. And I'm not saying that the old law enforcement wasn't trained or I don't think they was ready for that, that situation. And I think that they told them to stand down because their chief or whoever he was, was looking out for his division. So he pretty much probably took the bait of saying like, and hey, you can't, you can't blame him for that. <laughs> you know, you can't blame him, you know, you know, I, I really, you know, I can't respect the fact that it's capped, you know, meaning that, you know, it's not true because I never seen any any police situation of a group of officers or any agency stand down for a whole hour. I never seen it. I'm sorry. I never seen it. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all can show me a situation where that happened. Unless it's a hostage situation, then yeah, I can understand that. But a regular situation, active shooter in there, you know. <laughs> I mean, I never, I never, I never seen it. But I'm not saying that they were scared. All I'm saying is they wasn't, I feel like they wasn't ready for that situation. They could be, it could have been scared, you know. But that situation right there caused an uproar. And now people are questioning um, law enforcement. Um, and now on top of that, people do not want to put their trust in law enforcement hands. And this coming from both sides, this coming from Democrat and Republicans, all liberal, all conservatives. This is coming from both sides. Because I, 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 I'm going to be honest. I thought um, conservatives was going to defend it, you know, defend this because they always do in certain situations, you know, particularly in police shootings. But you know, they not. I mean, they know they can't. They they can't justify this right here because it's children involved, and they don't want to be ridiculed. And at the end of the day, they know the democracy rules. See the Democrat, the um, the um, Republicans and conservatives know that the democracy rules. So all you you know think that it's a whole tug of war thing between Democrat. Nah, nah. The democracy <laughs> rules them over the you know go go back to um the compromise of eighteen seventy seven and you will you you'll pretty much get that history, but. I think the cops wasn't ready for the situation. Now the people protesting, and this is the wrong time to be talking about taking guns, even though I know you try to sell guns because guns is a hot commodity in America that pretty much cover the whole um, financial GDP of the uh, federal and the state government. I understand this, <laughs> firearms, so, I don't know why people are worried about them talking about getting rid of guns. They not going to get rid of guns. <laughs> they not going after no guns. They here to sell guns and they're going to keep selling them. And that's what it is. So what's the best way for you to sell guns? Scare the people. Because now I guarantee you after this protest, guns going to be flying off the shelf. Same thing every year. But I've been telling y'all this also. Now, what else? Mm, it's a lot of stuff going on right now. I mean, I could write it down and go down the list, but this is just me doing a preview right now. This ain't an actual video. Yes, I'm explaining little by little, but I'm not really going in 
like I usually do, but I will be doing that very shortly. But that's just a little, I was just giving y'all my opinion of what I think going on right now. So that's my take on that. This is the wrong time to be talking about gun rights, but however, I know what's going on, you see what I'm saying? But see, the people going to react to it, you know, you know, the sheep out there, <laughs> that's just what it is, because they keep falling for the same thing over and over again. I, I hate to say it, and I'm not the type that really do that or say that about people, but at, at this point, they just sheep, man, you know? It, it ain't really too much you can do to save <laughs> those people out there that keep falling for this same thing over and over again. It's the same stuff every single year. I, it, it, not, I say every four years, but we already know the tension span of people is not where it's at, so yeah. But that's my take on it. I feel like I don't have to go all the way in on it because this is stuff that I already been saying that's now coming to the forefront. Now people see it for what it is, which I don't mind because that's the only way that people are gonna get the experience that they need. So yeah, with that said, what else, what else? Is I'm forgetting something? It's a lot of stuff going on. Like I, I can, it will be a whole hour to talk about all the stuff that's going on, but I was just talking about particularly the stuff that I'm actually seeing right now as we speak and what's going on, you know, because some places, I don't know if it is now, but the protests were still going on through throughout the evening and the night hours. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it right there. What in the world with that? Yeah, I'm in this garage, but but anyway, Y'all be on the, you know, I'll be on the lookout for what's going on. Still keep everything, cause everything's still developing right now. So what's gonna come out of these gun laws? And let's just keep it real. I do wanna say this, and I'm not saying this to go down the whole racial road that people are always buy into, but I know where this is going to lead to, and this is going to be another political move. The red flag laws, the background checks, um, all of this stuff that pertains to, look, I'm not even going to say the group. I'm not even going to say the race, but I'm going to get y'all to do something. Look up the percentage of background checks and see that what, the who, what group of people that it affected. Look up, go, look up. Let me see how I'm gonna explain this now. All right, all everything with the red flag laws, the mental health, the um seeing, you know, be able to confiscate guns if everybody or they assume that somebody is deemed a threat. Even though you were infringing on people's rights, you know, because if it ain't no probable cause or due process, then how can you know when somebody is committed a crime unless they go by, you know, threats or something like that? But if you look at all the laws that they put in on the table with the red flag laws, the, the mental health, checking the further background checks, you already know what group of people that affected it. And you can look at the percentage because last year, no, no, I think I'm gonna go ahead and say the group. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say the group. And I'm gonna say it this way though, last year, you have quote unquote African Americans purchasing guns more now than they ever did in history. Next year, now these laws come about. You do the math on that. And like I said, not to talk about race issues because I don't talk about 
I don't deal with the emotional argument of race, black and white racism. I put stuff in its proper perspective. But you can do the math on that. You can look up the stats and see everything that pertains to background checks, everything pertains to gun control, everything that pertains to the, the mental health. And if you look at those percentages, you will see the percentages is higher amongst quote unquote African-Americans. So it can do two things. It can prevent quote unquote African-Americans from getting guns in the near future or taking away the guns that increase over the over the year of African-American owning weapons or getting proficient with firearms to level the playing field and maintain the status quo. Because we all know where the background check came from, like I said, percentage, mental health issue, percentage in the black community, um, whoever deemed dangerous, you know, so basically putting everybody in the same category. So yeah, we, we, all, we already know the trick bag of this right here. And I know I'm probably revealing too much in this video. <laughs> so I already know what time it is. But so, but yeah, that's what it is. I thought I'd just put that out there since a lot of that going on right now and give you my take on it because I just try to be truthful as possible and put stuff in its proper perspective. So to quote unquote African-Americans, and I say quote unquote for a reason because I really know your true identity, uh, start exercising your constitutional rights and your Second Amendment and start getting ahead of this curve because that's exactly what's going to end up happening in the near future. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I'm going to get back on some of the stuff that's going on around the world also. But till then, I'll catch y'all on the next video. If you like the content, subscribe get more of my thoughts and opinions and facts on certain situations and I catch you on the next one. Peace.